Hi everyone, this is Paul from This Design That, and today we're going to be looking at the Baron Fig Apprentice little sketchbook. So I got a pack of three, and I believe that it's nine dollars for a pack of three, and shipping to the UK, which was actually pretty quick. I think it came within a week. Um, was four dollars on top, so I think I paid twelve or thirteen dollars uh, in total for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we'll take a look at it, and then we'll also do a comparison with another small little pocket sketchbook that I like, which is the uh, the Eco C White sketchbook, as you can see here. It's something I've been using for a little while now, so it'll be interesting to see um, how the Baron Fig performs. In terms of size, you can see it's a little bit smaller. Um, I quite like this size. I think this would fit in most of my pockets a bit easier than something like this uh, if we can you know compare it to something like a moleskin here you can kind of get an idea of the size these these are quite small so they're pretty ideal for going in your pocket so let's open it up and we'll see what the paper's like i haven't actually seen what type of paper they use or anything like that um, Quite sure how I'm going to open it. There we go. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, so I've obviously gone for the dot grid. It's what I prefer pretty much in all of my sketchbooks. Let's take a look. So it's a. It looks like it's a hard kind of card. It's got kind of a waxy uh, texture to it. Uh, and the, it looks like the kind of the dot matrix is it seems to be a little bit bigger well maybe not maybe it's pretty much the same yeah it looks pretty much the same I guess because it's just on a small small page it makes it look like the, the dots are bigger but um, okay well first of all first impressions are it's quite nicely built I think the paper is definitely thinner than the eco sea white which I've got next to me here uh, I would say it's definitely thicker than the moleskin, which is a big plus because obviously, as you could probably see from our previous review of the moleskin, we did have some problems with the various different pens bleeding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a few marks on it. We'll just scribble some stuff on it and we'll see what we think about using it on uh, various different pens. And then I'll do a comparison to this C white which is what I've been using just here and there okay so I've just done a random scribble uh, we used a uh, Pigma graphic free and also a, a jet string pen those are pretty much the two pens that I use most often um, it seems to hold up pretty well to some heavy marker uh, you can see that you know the paper is a little bit thin you can see that it is bleeding through the other side but i would say it's a lot less than the uh, than the moleskin that we tried and that just essentially left the back side of the page of whatever you draw it on pretty much useless this you know i could i could probably still work on it it might get a little bit distracting i mean if we I haven't actually tried something like a like a Copic. Let's just yeah. So you can see it bleeds through quite a lot. Um, probably the same as the moleskin, really. So again, you kind of left with this problem uh, where the backside of the pages you can't really use them. But um, you know, th these these are not really designed for Copics. Not a lot of paper is really suited for Copics anyway. So I think that, you know, just for markers and maybe some, some graphic markers and some pens, I think it does a pretty good job. Uh, just a few things that I like about it is probably the size. I really do like the size uh, of this sketchbook. I wish that there were more sketchbooks like this because you can really easily fit this anywhere. You could, you know, fit it in pretty much any pocket. So. I really do like the size of it. I like the simplicity of it. It's a nice design, nice and simple. Quite like the colour scheme with the yellow thread. 
Um, and also something else that's nice is they've got these kind of like tear off sheets at the back. I think in every single sketchbook you get six tear off sheets and you probably can't see it in the video, but it's just perforated here. Just along here so you can just tear it off, um, you know, so you're not ruining the other pages, which is always kind of a hassle. If you want to tear something out, it's usually going to ruin the binding or, you know, some other pages are going to fall out or something like that. So that's quite a nice touch as well. So I think that uh, I'll definitely probably carry on using these. I don't think I'll use them for more graphic work. I'll certainly use them for more kind of note taking and stuff like that because of the small size of them and the fact that they, they hold up pretty well with with just biros. As you can see, this this was these lines were made with the um, the Pigma and this flag was done with the jet stream. You can see that you know it's only just starts to bleed through here but the, the biro is it does a pretty good job to be honest with you. So yeah I'd I'd probably carry on using these for that reason. Whereas you know something like the moleskin it just seemed to everything seemed to go through the other side of it which is really really annoying. Uh, I think that you know so far my favourite little sketchbook would probably be my Eco C white. I've chucked quite a lot of different mediums at it, you know, watercolour, uh, markers and stuff like that, and just simply due to the thickness of the paper. I can't remember what thickness it is. You know, it's, it's, it's very, very thick, uh, and it does a really, really good job. So we'll, we'll review that. We'll review this sketchbook uh, in the next video. Right, so hopefully that's been of some use. We're going to we're gonna be testing more sketchbooks. We'll see if we can get our hands on um, any other ones. I would love to find one that is, you know, specifically designed for, you know, graphic designers who are going to be using stuff like, you know, heavy markers, they're going to be using Copics and stuff like that. And it'd be really nice if there was kind of a, a pocket marker pad. I think that'd be really, really good. You know, I've got the, I've got the Copic A4 and I've got the A3 marker pads, but obviously they're not very good for, for carrying around. So it'd be interesting if um, we can find something like that. So uh, if you have any suggestions of any sketchbooks that we can test, uh, or any ones that you specifically like, uh, please do let me know and we'll get our hands on them and see what they're like. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.